Lab 12-4, configure a variety of masking formats with Oracle DataSafe. In this lab, you learn how to do the following. Perform data discovery and data masking in one flow. Configure a variety of masking formats, such as random number, fixed string, group shuffle, regular expression, and random date. Use conditional masking for a masking format and select a predefined and custom masking format for a sensitive type. Step one, sign in to the Oracle DataSafe console for your region. From the navigation menu, click DataSafe. You are taken to the registered databases page. Click on Service Console. You are taken to the DataSafe login page. Sign into DataSafe using your credentials. Step two, launch the data masking wizard and discover sensitive data. In Oracle DataSafe, click the Home tab, and then click Data Masking. The Data Masking Wizard is displayed. On the Select Target for Data Masking page, select your target database, and then click Continue. The Select Masking Policy page is displayed. For Masking Policy, leave Create selected. Enter a masking policy name. For Sensitive Data Model, select Create. For sensitive data model name, enter SDM. Select to show and save sample data. Click Continue after selecting your resource group. The Select Target for Sensitive Data Discovery page is displayed. Select your target database and then click Continue. The Select Schemas for Sensitive Data Discovery page is displayed. Select the HCM1 schema and then click Continue. The Select Sensitive Types for Sensitive Data Discovery page is displayed. Select Select All. To start the data discovery job, click Continue. When the data discovery job is completed, click Continue. The Sensitive Data Discovery Result page is displayed. Click Save and Continue. The Masking Policy page is displayed. Clear the selected columns by deselecting Select All. In this example, you select specific sensitive columns to mask. Expand all of the nodes. Step 3. Configure a masking format for EMP underscore extended dot taxpayer ID to generate random numbers between 100 million and 899 million, 999,000 and 999. Search for EMP underscore extended dot taxpayer ID and select it in the table to enable it for masking. Click its Edit button, the pencil icon, and the Edit Format dialog box will be displayed. Select Random Number under the format. Set the start number equal to 100 million. Set the end number equal to 899,999,999. Click Save. Step 4. Configure a masking format for Supplemental Data Taxpayer ID to generate a fixed string. Search for Supplemental Data Taxpayer ID and select it in the table to enable it for masking. Then click its Edit button and the Edit Format dialog box will be displayed. Select Fixed String under the Format Type and enter the following string. Click Save. Step 5. Configure a masking format for Locations Postal Code to generate 5-digit random numbers between 10,000 and 99,999. First, search for Locations Postal Code under Biographic Information. Select it in the table to enable it for masking, and then click its edit button to display the dialog box. Select random number under the format type, and set the start and end number. The start number will be 10,000, the end number will be 99,999. Then click save. Step 6. Configure a masking format for countries.country .country name to shuffle values within each region ID. Search for countries.country .country name under biographic information and select it in the table to enable it for masking. 
We're then going to click the edit button to display the dialog box and select group shuffle. Enter the grouping column as region underscore ID and press enter. Then click save. Step seven, configure a masking format that masks columns with email addresses that contain at oracle.com. Search for email and the, the search will return the hcm1.employees.email column. We're going to select this so we can edit it and open up the dialog box. Under format, we're going to select regular expression. We'll enter the regular expression of at oracle.com. The replacement expression will be at example.com. And then click save. Step eight, configure a masking format for job history date of termination that generates dates from two years ago to the present. Search history, and this will reveal job history date of termination below. We're going to select that box and edit it. Under the format, we are going to select random date. For the start date, Configure a date from two years ago by using the calendar. For end date, configure the current date by using the calendar. It is already selected. Then click Save. Step 9. Configure a masking format for employee's salary that masks values greater than 10,000 with the fixed number 10,000. First, we will search salary in the search box and then scroll down and select hcm1.employees.salary for editing. We'll click the pencil and move the slider conditional masking to the right. In the first field, replace one with hcm1.employees.salary. We'll change the equal sign to a greater than sign. And in the second field, change the one to a 10,000. Next, we're going to select the fixed number masking format. For fixed number, enter 10,000. Notice that the rows that do not meet any of the conditions will be nullified. Now we click Add Condition. Scroll down to the second condition. In the first field, we'll replace one with hcm1.employees.salary. We will again change the equal sign, but this time to a less than or equal to. And in the second field, we will enter 10,000. Next, we want to select our format. We will choose Preserve Original Data Masking Format. and then click Save. Notice that the masking format is marked as Complex Format. Step 10. Configure a masking format for supplemental data bonus amount that generates a random list of values including 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, and 3,000. Search for supplemental data bonus amount and select Table to enable it for masking, and then click its Edit button. Move the conditional masking slider to the left. It is disabled if needed. Our masking format will be random list. For list of values, we are going to enter the following numbers and press enter after each one. We will use 1000, 1500, 2000, 2500, and 3000. And it is important to press enter after each one of those entries. Then click save. Step 11. Schedule the data masking job to run immediately and then view the ma masking report. Select all the sensitive columns and click Confirm Policy. Now we want to schedule the data masking job to run immediately and then view the masking report. Under Schedule the masking job, we will leave Right Now selected. Next, click Review. Now you are ready to run the data masking job. Click Submit. And there are a few things to watch for in the report. 
How many values are masked? How many tables are masked? Step 12. Connect to your XSCS database as the sys user with SQL Developer. Please visit Lab 4, Configuring a Development System for Use with your XSCS database, for instructions to securely configure XSCS to connect using Oracle SQL Developer, SQL Excel, and SQL Plus. Step 13. In SQL Developer, verify that the data is masked according to your masking policy. Let's first check to see if the emails have been masked. Enter the following command and hit run. We can now see that all of the emails have at oracle.com. Enter these additional commands to see the other masking changes.